about to go on a long run. I just bought this jacket yesterday. It's a heated heated jacket. You see all the cables and stuff going on. Um, I've I've heard lots of good things about heated uh, heated gear, heated jackets. I've been told if you have a heated jacket, you don't necessarily need uh, heated gloves and heated pants and and uh, heated boots. Uh, that just a jacket will do. Well, uh, I rode uh, I rode about 200 miles yesterday with the jacket. Basically, I. I bought the thing, uh, I found it on Craigslist, and I met the guy, uh, I bought it, hooked it up right there in his driveway, and then uh, off I went. And at first a little bit, I, I didn't have it on, because it was still fairly warm, a very rare, warm January day uh, in the Portland area. Then uh, I started, after a, after a few miles, it started cooling off, started getting to the coastal range, I, I pulled over and uh, made sure everything was, was set up, had me a little snack, and then... Uh, and then turned it on and started driving away, and uh, oh wow, it was uh, it was something else. It was very warm, uh, felt all cozy. It's, it's kind of like a uh, like a heated seat in your vehicle, but it covers your entire torso. It was uh, it was great. I was I was riding through the mountain pass. There was snow on the side of the road, and, and I was just all warm and cozy. It, it can't be beat. Uh, so today I'm uh, I'm considering doing about 500 miles. Uh, we'll see how it does to that. I'm going to be up in the uh, Olympic Peninsula, uh, riding around uh, there. There's a, there's a little uh, road I heard about going from, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name of it, Mon Monsanto or Monsanto, um, just, uh, just east of Aberdeen, up there to Wainuchi, Wainuchi um, Lake. It's supposed to be a really nice 35 mile road. So I'm going to try that out. I'll have some video of that, and uh, we'll see you later.